Hi everyone, today we are working on the brakes. So first we're gonna have to get the brake booster and master cylinder on. And then after we do that, we just have to run the lines and the flex lines we need to get on there too. Have those all sitting here. So I have these uh, stainless steel braided flex lines. So they come out of the bottom here. So you gotta get a bolt on here and then they go in there like that. And then I think I'm gonna run them up somewhere in here and mount them right around there. And then we can run the brake line actually through here, which I think is the original place where the brake line came through. And then we can plug it right into that, so. Other side should be about the same. So this is everything I got. Um, I got these adapters because the threads in the master cylinder are huge. They're half by 20 which I thought the front and the rear ports were both half by 20, but it looks like the rear ports are larger for some reason. I don't know why they would do that and it's very annoying. So I don't have the plug that goes in here. Um, these two plugs came with the master cylinder because you're supposed to plug one side and use the other. So it's kind of versatile to what you use. So I used one of these adapters in the front to go from half by 20 to 3 8 24 thread, flare, flared thread. So that is what we're gonna run our front brakes off of. And then I got this T fitting to split for the, the left and right front brakes off of that. And then these are to go on the brake line. And then this is a plug for the back because I was gonna use this on the back and then use this plug to plug that fitting. And then we would just be ready to do the back once I got that done, but the plug is wrong. So I'm gonna have to go find that. Luckily we don't have to use the brakes right now. I have to take it, the master cylinder back off anyway to uh, get the engine in because it's pretty tight in there. And the engine sits right about here so it, it's pretty tight but we'll take that back off get the engine in and then we can put it back on and get everything on but i can leave all the lines in i just have to take that back off so let's start working on the lines I think we'll probably go through this hole here with the solid line out and then this one will go around probably straight back and up over this all the way across the top. the original one. It's a little short. We'll have to just get a different one.
So what we have right now comes out of the master cylinder, T's, one line goes to the front driver and then the other line goes along the firewall over into the passenger side. So now what we need to work on is figuring out how this is gonna line up. So let's go get the flex line and see how this works. So what we have, we have a flex line with a fitting here. This is what will hook into the solid brake line. Then we have the banjo bolt that will go on the caliper with some copper seals. And then we have this as our mounting bracket. So this will go through here. And then this clip clips in here to hold it in place. And it's got to kind of force it in there, which I think is backwards. It goes this way, like that. And that keeps it from coming out of there. So we just have to figure out how to route this in here now. So I'm thinking something like this line comes out kind of bends right here so it's got some flex to it with the suspension and then we can just put a screw or a bolt right through here and then the line comes out and hooks right into this putting it out way over here kind of puts a little bit of stretch on this and it almost hits the spring here so maybe i'll pull it back this way give it a little bit more flex a little less tension on it and then we can bend this maybe come out and go up and over. I guess it's not quite long enough, but we can get some more slack in this. There's a little bit in there that we can get. So we'll make this come out of here, over and down. And then that'll give us a little bit of room to adjust this where we want it. So I think I'm going to put a hole right here and find a little bolt that will go in there. Should work good. Then this will go right in here. And then we gotta bend this to fit. So let's just clip this in temporarily here. That'll line up good. Doesn't look like it'll hit anything over there. Now we gotta bend this to fit. That should work. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have to cut it a little bit here, I think, but I should probably need to go a tiny bit more. Oh man. There we go. That actually looks perfect. So we just need to cut it. It's so close, we just need to trim a tiny bit off and then flare it.
So we got all the lines put on. Not everything's tightened yet, but I need to take the master cylinder back off when I put the engine in. But all these lines are all done. Routed good, nothing's gonna hit. We've got grommets on here, so they're not gonna rub through the brake lines and should be good. I just have to get this plug for the master cylinder for the back for now so I can use them. But other than that, I think we're all done for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.